These two three terabyte Seagate Barracuda drives were pulled from my uh, four bay NAS. Uh, these two drives uh, started having issues. The one was powering up but just made a clicking noise for about one to three minutes and then just spins. Doesn't really acknowledge that the drive's there. Then this one, um, these are from my second 4 bay 12 NAS box. That's why they're labeled 5 and 6 instead of 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, this one powers up. Same thing. Spins for about 1 to 3 minutes, then just spins, continues to spin. Um, not sure what the problems are. Uh, as you can see, the connectors are good. The circuit boards are good on both of them. Drives 5 and 6. Um, nothing wrong with the spindles. Uh, they have not been dropped or anything like that. They pretty much just live in one of two. Yeah, so then uh, they live in one of these two NAS boxes. You can see, I mean, they are uh, safely cradled away. That's where they've been kept. Um, and as you can see, this one's not running. It's just dead. Whereas the other one here, that one is running. Hence, uh, these are one, two, three, four. And then these were five, six, seven, eight. And I already had a problem with one of them. So I don't know if it's something with that particular NAS box. Or, or something of that nature, but these are kept on a power backup, so I really doubt it was a power surge of some sort. I just have no idea what can be uh, causing these drives to just power up and spin and not be recognized, but maybe somebody can, uh, if nothing else. Uh, these circuit boards, uh, I've seen them selling for quite a bit, so I'm just going to do a lot of these two drives, uh, start an auction on them, or maybe make a best offer, and uh, go from there. I believe they are 7200 RPM, if I remember right. Uh, Seagate Barracuda 3000 gigabyte or 1 terabyte model ST3000DM001 and that is both of them because uh, I purchased them all at the same time for the NAS boxes. Uh, part number 9YN166-306. Once again, same on both of them. 9YN166-306. Um, firmware CC4H. Firmware CC4H. Date 13011-13055. That one's it's a little strange why it's a little off. Um, I think that should be all the information that anybody might need. There is uh, this little sticker on the front of the drive that reads one or W1F0X98B, and the other one reads W1F12G39. So that's pretty much everything. These drives are sold as is for parts and or service or repair uh, and they will be uh, priced accordingly. If you have any questions please send me a message before bidding, buying, or making any type of purchase and uh, good luck with them. Maybe you can get them to work.